The judge's comments on this, this is a quote, this is a true entrepreneur. The winner is Pet Butler. Hi, I'm Matt Red Boswell with Pet Butler, America's pet waste cleanup service where your dog's business is our business. You gotta laugh at yourself in this kind of job. One of the ways we do that is with our mascot, Scoopster. Scoopster Piles Moundsworth the third, I mean the third, is, uh, is our mascot, Scoopster. Wait, imagine cleaning up after this guy. We here at Pet Butler really feel like it's important to give back to the community who has given so much to us, even though it was mostly poop. We've got our national headquarters, we affectionately call Poop Central Command, here based in Frisco. We now service with our National Call Center, Billing Collection Center, over 80 franchises in 24 states. Now, like any company, we like to have a lot of fun with our business, and, and you got to laugh at yourself when all you do is, is pick up dog mess all day. So, through hundreds of different marketing methods from fun, funny billboards to bumper stickers and naughty dog keychains, our many funny radio spots. We also have a lot of things such as um, a, a, a pet friendly frisbee. I would show you what's underneath this, but it is a luncheon. Don't know how appropriate it would be. On behalf of all our fecal matter removal technicians, our customer service fanatics, and all of us here at Pet Butler want to thank Viewpoint Bank and Celebration of Enterprise for this fantastic luncheon you provided for us today. And lastly, thank you to all those wonderful dogs out there who continue to give us crap every day. Okay, I didn't want that to end. How about you all? I think it entertained me all day long. Presenting this award is Andy Harden. Congratulations. Brave to shake my hand. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, thank you, Andy. Thank you, guys. We, uh, we have been taking crap from everybody in town for the last nine years, and if you don't know, we'd like to take it from you, too. So uh, I'm Matt Red Boswell with Pet Butler, America's Pet Waste Cleanup Service, where your dog's business is our business, and I'll be, keep going until you laugh too loudly for to hear me. Uh, since founding Pet Butler, I, I like to think of myself as an entre manure, and um, <laughs> therefore I, I do hope to make a pile in this business, but lately business really stinks. However, I do see it picking up, and that's where I need your help getting it off the ground. So uh, next time you're in the backyard, you really feel down in the dumps. Maybe you uh, don't think you can do the do. You're too pooped to scoop. You need some dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Just remember, your dog's biscuits are our bread and butter. And so uh, <laughs> give Pet Butler a call because we're not too cool to get the stool. And uh, you know, finally, picking up where your pet left off. Since 1998, we are number one in the number two business. So. Um, as I look back on why are we successful, what has caused Pet Butler to be successful, besides hiring great people, marketing and taking care of them, etc., really caring about our customer, having a good, uh, good model, it really comes down to God's blessing. He's, he's protected us. Where's this coming from? <clears throat> he's protected us and really uh, we want to honor him and, and thank the Lord Jesus Christ for that. Also my wife for pu uh, putting up with this crazy insane idea for so long. She's at home taking care of our three toddlers. And for uh, all the poop heads at Poop Central Command in Frisco, they appreciate them so much. <clears throat> and uh, um, lastly, I know I was going to say something else. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, oh, we're a marketing company, right? Really, we're a marketing company that scoops poop. We're not just a pet waste cleanup service. We view ourselves as marketers. So I have a quick marketing survey for you. I can tell from this crowd you guys like ice cream, right? Well, last year at this event, we were a finalist, but we didn't win. Henry from Henry's Homemade Ice Cream won. Beat us out. I just about pulled a Kanye West on him and went crying home to mama. I tell you, if it happened this year, I would have. But uh, anyway, been thinking about this a lot, so bear with me. What do you think about this? You know, you got Ben and Jerry's. They got all these cool custom ice cream flavors. You got Henry at Homemade Ice Cream. I mean, he's got all sorts of unique flavors. What if we came out with an ice cream flavor called the Scoop from Pet Butler. Now stay with me, I envision it. It's a bit, you gotta think big, hairy, audacious goals here. What if it was a creamy dark chocolate ice cream with caramel, maybe some rich nougat, maybe some peanuts, candy corn, uh, gummy worms? This is my life, guys, I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, lastly, we're gonna make Oprah. See ya.